Uh, this is a uh, video of how I made leather fenders for a 1901 locomobile. Um, originally the locomobile had no fenders and uh, fenders were an aftermarket item and eventually fenders were on the car and they were made out of leather at a later date as an option. But anyway, uh, what I did was I uh, wanted to make leather fenders for the car. So what I did was I took some 3 8 uh, cold rolled or hot rolled steel and uh, this fender was made in four pieces. The first piece was I used a, a bender and I formed this loop in here and I didn't make it very long. I made it to about here and here and I made two per fender, two for that side, I mean one for that side and one for this side. Then uh, I took some the same 3 8 uh, stock I cut it 40 inches long and then I rolled it with a um, slip roller and I rolled it till I got the desired shape which was kind of the radius of the tire and I did that for uh, both sides and I did it for all four and then at that point in time I cut them all to the same length so all, all uh, radius rods were the same length and all curved tips were the same length and then I jigged it up so they were nice and square and I welded, I, I stick welded the joints, there's a joint here and here and there's the same thing a joint here and here so that made the fenders uh, pretty rigid and uh, pretty square and then I used, um, since these are going to be covered in leather um, I have to mount them on the vehicle so what I ended up doing is I took quarter inch flat stock which is right here I drilled it for a quarter 20 holes right here and here and that matches the bracket that holds the fenders in place. It's uh, seven and a half inches uh, from side to side. It's an inch and a half thick and quarter inch, quarter inch thick stock. I uh, positioned them. They were positioned, these were positioned on the radius so they would match the fender brackets so the car, uh, you know, so it would look right. And all four of them were laid next to each other, and each one was welded to match the next one. So the fenders, the two fender, front fenders are the same, and the two back fenders are the same because the brackets are slightly different, front and back. They were welded. All the wells were ground smooth. Um, the um, irons were um, primed and then uh, painted with black lacquer. And uh, at this point in time, it's going to be going to Lancaster, Pennsylvania where the Amish are going to uh, put a patent leather on it, they're going to stitch patent leather on on these irons and I'll get them back in a couple of weeks so I will shoot another video so you can actually see uh, how they look after their uh, patent leather is stitched on. Let me back up, you can get a full size a full size of it right there, there's the look of it it's going to kind of mount in this direction kind of like this on the car uh, it should look very nice, and I'll update the video uh, next uh, when the, um, I get the fenders back and also when they're installed on the car. And that's it for today.